Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to Books, Beauty, and Stuff. I'm doing a quick um series um review. I'm doing my Books, Beauty, and Stuff series um taping now. And I decided to do the book series review first. Um in these series, these are series, some of them that ended this year, or some that ended in previous years, but I finally got on to as of this year. So some of the continuing series that I do like may not be in this one. But I would definitely um, show you the ones I enjoyed this year or the ones that ended this year. Why are my glasses so damn crooked? Mm, so, whatever. Ow. Good grief. There we go. Oh, good grief. There we go. Whatever. Whatever. Got to get these fixed anyway. So, with that being said, um, let's definitely talk about some of the series real quick. Um, it's four series that I make, made it to my um, awards list, and I definitely want to get into it. I definitely want to talk about it. Okay? Let's get started. Sharice Hodges, the rumor series. Um, it's three books in the series. Rumor has it. I heard a rumor. And the final book that came out um, around Thanksgiving was Deadly Rumors. Now, I have Rumor has it. It's somewhere in my drawer. Um, I cleaned out a lot of my books. But it's somewhere in um, my room. And I got the advanced gallery before they actually put the um, actual front cover of it. Um, so, yeah, with that one. And then I heard a rumor I actually bought. And this one, Daily Rumors, I actually got as a um, gallery as well, too, from the author. Let me just say this. This book series was awesome, first of all. I enjoyed it. It definitely talked about rumors. It definitely talked about um, sex, madam, prostitution. It talked about romance. It definitely had a lot of sexiness in it too. Lies, trust, betrayal, things like that. And I truly enjoy um, Sharice Hodges' writing in general. And I definitely, and like I said, enjoyed it. It definitely dealt with a political slant. Um, it definitely talked about the... Um, the hypocrisy of the media, especially when it comes to missing black and brown girls in the media, um, how you don't have a lack of um, reporting in the media and whatnot. And it just definitely really got something into me as well, too. Um, the beginning definitely starts with um, Liza and um, Liza and her um partner Jackson and it involved her um one of her old former friends Robert and her best friend Shantae. Now when we go to the series I Heard a Rumor, you meet um the twins Zachary and Zoe Harrington. Um Zach tells this story, he's just dealing with a nasty um breakup from his wife and things like that, who turned out to be a real how can I say it properly? A real bitch, maybe? So, that definitely wrote to Daily Rumors, which continues the story where it picked off. And I like the fact that different characters came in and it easily rolled into one beautiful series. Um, I actually did a series review on it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if I didn't, I definitely have all three of the... Um, Rumor series separately on their own, so you could de guys check that out in the description bar below, and you know you could definitely check out the books as well too. And I'll definitely link the um definitely link it below as well, so you can check that out as well too. Okay, so let's talk about Kensington for a minute while we're on the subject of Kensington. Um, I want to talk about the Chesterton Chesterton scandal series by my girl Shelly Ellis. I'm going to do a quick background on Shelly Ellis real quick and the story, how I started with her. Um, I read her first book, The Best She Ever Had, and I enjoyed this so much. And I definitely was like, okay, I want to see more about her. So I think I was in Target one day and I happened to see Best Kept Secrets, which was the first book. And I read the synopsis and I enjoyed Shelly Ellis's other book. And I was like, okay, excuse me. Okay, I'm getting this one. Once I got that one, I was hooked. 
I was hooked. I was hooked. I was hooked. And I was waiting for the second book, Better Lies. Because let me tell you, rich folks, especially rich black folks, honey, honey, they all trip. And it was just so much in this book from cheating, lying, blackmail, um, a sibling who was, um, hmm, he's been doing a long day. A sibling who was, um, not really part of the family. He wanted to take his siblings down because he felt that they betrayed him. It was just so much going on. A lot of sex, a lot of fighting, a lot of cussing, a lot of brown, a lot of snobbishness in the air. And I am honestly was, I was honestly here for every bit of it. Every bit of it. And not to mention, um, it talked about some subjects, especially in the church, dealing with, um, gay and lesbian issues it did talk about it in book three a bit so that definitely was beautiful in that one as, as well too um and then like i said definitely talks more about lesbianism when you find out that um one of the characters in there actually happens to be gay or bi and like i said it definitely was enjoyable um it tells you that rich folks still have issues like other people money can help you deal with it but your problems not necessarily go away. So I enjoyed this series by Shelly Ellis. Um, fabulous series. Did a whole series review on this one. So I would definitely link that in the link bar below. All of the series reviews I did, I will link in the link bar below. So you guys can check that out as well, too. Um, this is just the final wrap-up of it as well, too. Speaking of rich series... Rich people. The other series I am talking about is The Secrets of the A-List, which is on ebook only. And um, each book is 99 cents, so you can check that out as well, too. Um, when you deal with rich folks, baby, when you deal with gay issues, baby, when you deal with money, a wedding coming up, a father being in an accident, the mother got a whole shit down. Excuse me, I ain't mean to cuss in this video, but you know what, whatever. Screw it, I did it. So... The Marshall Santiago's or the Santiago's Marshalls. These people are off the hook. And I need to know if it's going to be season two on it because, baby, you got to understand. It's contributing authors to the story. And each of them bought their own um, signature right into this series. It bought, it banged it out real well. It ended with a cliffhanger. And I just got to say. <laughs> Money could definitely cushion BS, but it can't necessarily go away. Um, and then you find out about the normal cheating scandals. Now, I know it's the normal soap opera thing as well. And you may be like, oh, God, another soap opera. But I, I really enjoyed this. And I really enjoyed the fact that a lot of um, authors, especially ones who were under Harlequin, that wrote for Harlequin, um, was able to contribute to this book, such as Donna Hill, um, Maya Blake. Cat Chill, Helen Lacey, my baby Reese Ryan, um, Joss Wood, Claire Connelly, Karen Booth, um, Danny Collins, you know, other others like that. Um, Yara St. John, Michelle Major. Um, it was just definitely an enjoyable series. And I like the fact that these 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 people had me coming back for more, just gasping and how hard, like, oh my gosh. Wow. The sex, I feel, was, was 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 explicit, but it was very tastefully explicit, which I truly enjoyed. Um, the problems were definitely very, very, very dramatic, and it was just so juice-worthy. So definitely get into it. Definitely, um, definitely get it if you want, and I will put that series in the link bar below. I know I'm repeating myself. Look, this is a last-minute video, okay? Okay, let's go to my final series, which definitely was, which definitely had to win this award, which was definitely the beautiful, dirty, crazy rich series, excuse me, which is these. J.D. Mason became one of my favorite authors last year. Um, I read a few of her books, reviewed them. And she had hit me up in my inbox, asked me, hey, what um, books do you want to um, get? Now, I had bought this one originally from um, Target like some years ago. And 
I was like, you know what? I need the first two in the series. So I asked her, is, is it okay if you uh send me um the Beautiful Dirty Rich series? I'll drop Dead Gorgeous. And I got sent to them. And next thing you know, I read them within a week. And I'm going to just say, Jordan Gatewood. I love some Jordan Gatewood. He is arrogant. He's an asshole. He's a jerk. Um, he had women. Oh my gosh, he had women draws all over the place. <laughs> but I can't reveal what happens next with him because that's in another series. Um, but I just gotta say, this series actually brought a beautiful male character to the end, and it definitely brought um light on a lot of things that politicians, police officers, things like that would do to hide um their crimes. You know, they all puffed up with pride, but baby, dirt always finds a way of hunting you. And when it hunts you, it hunts you good. And it definitely got me into suspense more. And it definitely, when I read this series, I, it definitely brought so much, 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 much respect and to, for me to J.D. Mason as a writer, I was just like, well, damn. You really just snatch, you just snatch me ball. And I, and, I, and I could be ball when I get my hair cut. But this whole series was just so phenomenal. Kidnapping, murder, um, a mystery from 18 years ago, which was the parenthesis of it. Um, just relationships and things like that. Um, I am going to say this, though. This is not really a spoiler hint, but hint, hint, anyway. Um, for this particular series, you can definitely read um, the Blink Texas series, which takes place in Blink Texas, like this series. You can also read um, The Real Mrs. Price and Seducing Abbey Road. So you can definitely check that out as well, too. And she has another third book coming out soon. Can't, I'm not going to tell you about it, but it's going to be fascinating. So you can definitely check that out as well, just like a lot of the other books I reviewed today. So... Anywho, thank you for watching my book series. This is all my book series winners for 2017. Um, congratulations, you guys. You were amazing. Um, I just put a little bit of devil blush on, put some sweetest cocoa blush on. Now I'm about to go chill because I got to go to work tomorrow. And I will talk to you soon. And thank you guys for watching and supporting me. And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Bye now.